Hi, this is Jeff Salzenstein, CEO of Tennis Evolution and USTA High Performance Coach. And in today's video lesson, I'm going to debunk a traditional tip that has been wrecking havoc on forehands all over the world for years. And it has everything to do with turning sideways on your forehand. So I'm going to break that down for you, why you shouldn't turn sideways on your forehand right now. <coughs> So the problem that I see, even with advanced players, is that you all out there are getting ready for your forehand and you're turning too much at the beginning of your swing. So that causes a number of problems. I could talk for a while about this, but I'm gonna try to keep it short and get right to the heart of the matter. So what I see with many players, even advanced players, is when they see the ball coming, they turn their shoulders and they turn their hips. And they still step in and hit the ball pretty well, but they could hit it so much better if they did it a different way. And then some of you out there are turning sideways and you're getting really close to the ball and it's really hurting your forehand. So there's varying degrees of problems with turning too much on the forehand. So here's how I want you to approach it. When you see the ball is coming to your forehand, I want you to make a first move by pulling the arm across. Now you'll notice that my shoulders are turned like this, but notice what my hips are doing. My hips are not turning sideways yet. Now, if I have to turn and run, of course, you're going to have to turn your hips and go. But we're talking about balls that are in the middle of the court and you're right in this position with your first move. Again, notice the hips. They are turned at a diagonal here. I'm trying to keep my hips facing the net more. I'm trying to avoid this move right here. So I pull my arm across, my shoulders are turned, but my hips are facing the net more, so I'm turned less. Now from here, I can hit an open stance forehand, or I can actually step in and hit the ball. So even if I step in, it doesn't mean I have to turn sideways right away. So let's go ahead and take a look at what that is going to be like right now. So again, you can see the ball came, I didn't move out of the way and turn sideways. I kind of shuffled out of the way. I made this move right here and it looks like I might be going open stance and then I just step in. But you'll see that my hips are in this line here. They're not in this line. So I'm not going to be blocked. I'm gonna have plenty of space. I can see the ball coming to me. So many benefits to making the first move like this. So let's try this again. Again, you notice how my hips don't turn sideways right away. This is a huge secret to hitting the modern forehand, to being able to crush forehands with an open stance or even with a neutral stance. So I want you to practice making that first move, but don't, turning, don't turn your hips right away. Now that's an advanced tip. And to be honest, not many coaches know about it. Luckily, I've uncovered some secrets about how movement works on the court, how the body works, how you can play more efficiently, how the pros do it. And I wanna share that information with you and I'm so happy that I could give it to you today. Now, if you like this video, if you've got a lot of value out of it, go ahead and click the like button. If you've got a question, concern, if you even disagree with me, feel free to leave a comment below. And also make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel because we want more and more people to be a part of our online tennis community. We wanna keep helping players all over the world get the right information. We're passionate about it. We wanna keep helping you. We'll see you at the next lesson.